right, time for a final shot, and I will take it. That release from James Borrego after winning his 100th game, to me, says more about the timing of when it happened than the fact that it did happen. On Sunday, over 41% of the Hornets' offensive output was still on the injured list, and at times very recently, it's been about 70% out. Even as his squad has slid back in the standings, the trajectory of his team and the players on it continues to rise. When the entire rotation was gone, he popped in Jalen McDaniels, who's averaged 14 points, five boards per start. On Friday, he started Vernon Carey, who'd never played more than seven minutes in a game. He played 35 minutes and scored 21 points. There's been an elevated criticism of Borrego this year. Could be the fact that he's in year three in their 500. Could be the fact that he's got the most talented roster when healthy that he's had. And it could also be that there's an entire subset of fans that found the franchise the night of November 18th. And whatever it is, you can nitpick his delayed arrival of LaMelo to the starting five, and I thought Monk should have played sooner, but Borrego has shown he's got the pulse of this team, and he is keeping it beating through the toughest stretch of the year. Without him playing operation and tinkering every night like a surgical lineup specialist, they would have likely flatlined. The fact is, JB's earned the time and the trust in that building and amongst his bosses to try and go win 100 more. That's it for sports. I'm Nick Carbone.